Welcome back. Do you suffer from job burnout? If you do, you're likely not alone. Work can be tough these days with higher demands and people doing more with less. Tonight's Your Life, Your Health, Julia Dunn has the telltale signs of burnout and how to alleviate some of that stress. Everybody can get frustrated with their job once in a while, but job burnout goes beyond that. Elaine Serafini helps people manage stress. She says a CDC study shows 25% of Americans say job stress is the number one stressor in their life. And out of the people that they polled, 75% of those people are saying they're in much more job stress now than they were a decade ago. So it's increasing globally. Burnout shows itself in both physical and psychological symptoms. Difficulty concentrating, difficulty sleeping at night, coming in, not having the energy to do your job, feeling exhausted all the time, headaches, um, being overwhelmed. These symptoms can then lead to cardiovascular issues, high blood pressure, chronic migraines, even pain in the back and shoulders, two main areas of the body where people hold stress. One thing that's very common for a lot of people is they find that they're taking work home or they're at work many more hours than they ever used to be. So they're not really having time for their family, they're not having time for a social network. Serafini says releasing stress can be done through breathing strategies, self-help books, and opening lines of communication with your boss and your coworkers when it comes to things like deadlines and workload. People that we spoke to in Troy were familiar with burnout. Absolutely. It's very overwhelming, especially if you're a single mom and you're working full time and taking care of children. Like many, she uses exercise to de-stress. I go home and I have a bike and elliptical and I get on that and I put music on. Music really helps calm my nerves. Many employers carry programs covered by insurance where people can get support if they need professional help. No one is immune to burnout and sometimes even short-term support can be helpful in stress management. In Troy, Julia Dunn, CBS 6 News. Well, shades of Gilligan's Island, more than 150 passengers on board a whale watching boat are safe tonight following a pretty nerve wracking experience. The boat coasted into port this morning after getting stranded off the coast of Massachusetts. This happened when one of the ship's propellers got tangled in a lobster trap rope about 50 miles off the Massachusetts shore yesterday. And that turned that three hour tour into an all night stay. When the six crew members could not untangle the propeller, Boston Harbor Cruises tried to transfer passengers to another boat, but the sea was too rough, so the passengers just had to wait it out. The boats were just banging together, and they, and they gave up after a few minutes after they and, and took off. I liked it. Why did you like it? Because we were out on a boat, and we were stuck out there, and we had to sleep overnight, and we got to see divers go down. Now that's the attitude. Yeah. yeah. Passengers were given food and blankets and Boston Harbor Cruises says it will also give them a $50 refund, a $100 gift card for a future cruise and $500 cash for their troubles.